All right, so this is take three on this video. If it's not FedEx dropping stuff off, it's my cat playing with toys, or it's virtual machines hanging up. So oh, I, think, I think we've got this settled down. This is a virtual machine I've got hosted in a Synology. And so we'll just come down here, click on the uh, settings tab. Oh, by the way, this is to uh, set privacy settings inside Windows 10. Probably quite similar in Windows 11. Um, just type privacy, hit enter. Here's a list of all of the privacy settings. So there we go. Come on. So the, in this column on the left hand side, these are all of the settings that we're going to go through. And by the way, you also get to do this for each and every user on your computer. And you should have at least two. You should have an administrator account and then a local user account. This keeps the user from having God rights and it keeps them from installing any software. It's mostly designed to prevent people from installing malware, but the average end user doesn't know the difference between malware and a non-malware application. So, all right, so let's start with general. Um, I also like to go scroll down at the bottom, just kind of start from the bottom up, deselect everything. No, don't show me any of this stuff. Don't, no, uh-uh, nope, don't want any of this. All right, cool, so now we go to speech. And this is, for me, in a virtual machine. I'm not gonna use any of these features in a virtual machine. I build my VMs specifically for particular purposes. Typically that's cybersecurity related, but I also operate and encourage people to operate on what's called the principle of least privilege. So strip all this stuff away. And then if you run into a problem or if you encounter an application that does need it and you're okay with it, then you can come back in here and turn it on. But it's better to have it all turned off than to have it out there sharing all of your information. So speech, thinking, uh, getting to know you. I don't want to get to know you, so no, thank you. Diagnostics and feedback. No, what I do on my computer is really none of your business. Uh, how about never? I like never. Never is good. Uh, let's delete anything that you have collected up until this point. This is off, 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 off. All right, so you don't get to turn off required. That's whatever. All right, history. Um, let's clear the history. You shouldn't be saving my history because you didn't ask me to. No, don't store my activity history. All right, now let's go to location. No. And if, unless you have a lot of applications installed on here, you're not going to see a lot in here other than the default applications that come with a ground up install from Microsoft. Don't care about the location because all of this is off and the location default is off. Good. Camera. Camera access is on. So let's scroll down to the bottom. Allow apps. No. You don't need access to my camera, no. And this is a VM, so it's not technically going to have access to my camera on the system that I'm remoting from, but still. It's the principle of it, right? It's like, let's just take privacy seriously. That would be fun. All right, let's turn this off. All right, so that's camera. Let's go to microphone. Let's turn this off. And the reason I'm turning off each of these applications, I could just come up here to the top, turn this off and change this. And as you see down below in a second, it's gonna turn them all gray or make them disappear. Okay, well, maybe it won't. Oh yeah, over here on the side. Now you can't turn these on. Um, it's because if this ever does accidentally get turned on, then all of these have been manually disabled. So it's kind of a, I don't know, Call it a failover, I guess. All right, voice activation. No, no, no. I don't 
need to choose the default app. Thank you. You should go away. Change microphone access. Oh, it's off. We're good. Uh, okay, let's go back. All right, voice activation notifications. Okay, no. Change. Apps don't need access to my notifications. And again, this is just an egregious. I, I get it that they're trying to, you know, make things. I don't know more end user friendly, but um, we seem to have lost the concept of the importance of maintaining privacy and keeping these things in check. And anymore, it's our responsibility as the end user to do this stuff and keep these corporations in check. By the way, I'm not sponsored by EFF, but I am a huge supporter of Electronic Frontier Foundation. They really do a great job in fighting for maintaining our privacy. Not on board with a lot of their other stuff, policies, beliefs, etc., but for what they were born to do. Fight for privacy? Yeah. They do that very well. It's really exciting. You just basically go down all of this and each and every one. This is specific to if you use the email app inside Windows, not if you're using a third-party application or a web-based email. which apps can read your messages. Absolutely nothing concerning about that at all. But if you don't turn this off by default, then these applications can be invited to participate in reading your data. This is what applications are running in the background. So if you launch them and then you go on to do something else, are they still running in the background? I don't, I don't know. I don't need other applications chewing up CPU cycles, hard disk access. Um, it, it, they do just fine. So I turn off each and every one of these. Some might argue that this is not necessary, but it doesn't provide any performance benefits. This is just my own personal preference. You do you. This is what I do. And I've had good success with this. And I haven't had any complications as a result of changing these configurations.
your results may vary. If you're following along, you're probably moving a little bit faster than this system is because like I said, I'm remoted into a VM. And whether or not you're a fan of privacy or not, you can at least appreciate the amount of access that is provided by default with a base installation of Windows. You don't come in here and change these things. Everything has access to everything. So. And Privacy is not about having something to hide. It's a fundamental right, especially as provided to us by our Constitution, a little something known as the Fourth Amendment. And I always get a kick whenever I'm providing a security awareness training and I have somebody in the crowd say, uh, well, I don't have anything to hide. Sweet. Bring me your purse. Bring me your wallet. Give me your house keys. I'll be back in a while. Oh, why would I do that? If you have nothing to hide, then you don't mind me rifling through your stuff. Oh, all of a sudden privacy is important. Oh, well, that's not the same thing but it is. All right, that is it for setting the privacy settings. Enjoy.